Welcome to Bit by Bit, a series where we highlight one thing you can do to optimize and run a bit better in Google Cloud. Knowing how to tune workload requests in GKE can be a challenge. Getting information to help across dozens of workloads, running across your fleet of clusters, potentially spread across different projects, even harder. Lucky for us, GKE gives us a starting point by providing workload recommendations as metrics out of the box from Vertical Pod Autoscaler. So today's topic, aggregating these recommendations from VPA in BigQuery and building a dashboard to help you navigate your workload right-sizing exercises at scale. Let's dive in. So a workload right-sizing exercise in Kubernetes is basically trying to get workload requests to more closely reflect actual usage, right? So uh, if we're way over the usage, it could be a cost risk to the business. If we're way under usage with requests, it could be performance or a liability risk. So this recommendation service, for example, is actually using twice the amount of requested CPU and brushing up against its limits. That recommendation service is just one workload in one cluster, right? And the key to today's discussion is actually trying to figure out how to do workload right-sizing at scale, right? Where are the opportunities to actually do workload right-sizing? So we don't want to look at just a single cluster. We want to look across a whole fleet of clusters. And here you can see I have both autopilot and standard clusters, but we also want to figure out a way that this could scale across multiple Google Cloud projects. Our solutions team has actually published the guide that we'll be demonstrating today. So if you'd like to follow along, check out the solution guide and its public repository linked in the description below. With that said, let's actually dive into what GKE provides to the workload right-sizing exercise. And so if we look at recommendation service, a uh, specific deployment in one of our GKE clusters, when we go down to action, scale, and edit resource requests, what we can actually see is that GKE's console will surface vertical pod autoscaler recommendations for requests for CPU and memory. And GKE makes this possible all without us ever needing to create a vertical pod autoscaling object, which is nice. And this is great for individual workload owners to begin to right size. But again, the core question that we're trying to solve here today is how do platform admins understand and consume and digest this type of information at scale? With so many clusters and a fleet, it'd be good for them to understand what workload teams they might need to work with that might be at risk uh, for having workloads under or over provision. Now to get to this end state where platform admins can answer this question, it helps to start with where all of this information is aggregated. And that brings us to cloud monitoring. Because as you can see here, uh, these values for CPU and memory request recommendations uh, live not only in the GK console, but in cloud monitoring as metrics. And as you can see here, I'm using Metrics Explorer to just show that we can do things like group by container name, the controller, uh, as well as the CPU request recommendation value. And now that we know we have access to these raw metrics in cloud monitoring, what our solution does next is actually deploys code as a cloud run job. And this is to export the metrics into a BigQuery dataset where we can analyze uh, the recommendation data and actually make it actionable for platform admins. You can see we have a cloud scheduler job that will run this code on a daily basis. And now we can see our BigQuery data set. Uh, and one important thing to call out is that because workload usage can change over time, this data set actually aggregates recommendation data over a 30-day period. Now, because it's BigQuery, of course you can write your own SQL queries, of course you can create your own dashboard. Uh, but to help you make use of this data as quickly as possible, our solutions team has built out a Looker Studio template, which you can use to directly connect uh, to your BigQuery tables that you've created in this data set. And once you create that dashboard, uh, the first thing you'll be greeted with is this kind of uh, top level view. And one of the things to call out is that because this dashboard is your single pane of glass, so to speak, across your fleet of clusters, and it's based on a BigQuery data set, all you'll need to do to support multiple projects is repeat the same process as far as exporting metrics from each project into this centralized BigQuery data set. And once you have all of the metrics uh, exported into this BigQuery dataset, you can use the top bar filters to filter down by region where your clusters are, um, by the project ID, by cluster name, or even by the object type or the controller. And at long last, we have the information uh, that platform admins can use to take action, right? We get the meta view where we can see the total number of containers analyzed across our fleet. 
we get the potential uh, CPU or memory savings that can come from workload right sizing. And we even get uh, a couple of tables with our most over-provisioned workloads or our most under-provisioned workloads. Uh, and we even get a priority score that can help us sort of uh, make decisions as far as which ones are worth tackling or which ones we want to tackle first as a platform admin. And finally, we have uh, insight uh, fleet-wide into workloads that fall into the best effort or versatile quality of service classes. Um, and the reason that we care about this is that, you know, this is where workloads could fall into a reliability performance risk. Uh, they're at risk to be throttled at a CPU level or in, from a memory perspective, they could be out of memory killed or uh, evicted in, in, in the case of uh, memory pressure on a specific node. So we want to get a sense of what our hygiene is uh, fleet-wide, especially if we know that our fleet uh, is mostly running critical workloads. And if we wanted a more granular view um, on the details of these recommendations, we can go to the details page in this dashboard template, and we can actually filter uh, to see these specific workloads that fall under, for example, a quality service class of best effort. And finally, we have the history page on the dashboard, uh, which is a uh, summary level view of our progress over time when right-sizing workloads uh, for both CPU and memory basically gives us that view of recommendations compared to actual requests. Is there a lot of opportunity left on the table uh, to continue workload right-sizing? And this serves as a healthy reminder that it is a continuous journey between platform admins and workload owners uh, to right-size these workloads, right? So it's not a one-time exercise, and this history view um, gives us that summary of how we're doing over time. Workload right-sizing in Kubernetes is a continuous journey that your organization takes on and surfacing the right recommendations from GKE while prioritizing the actions you can take only makes you more effective at the task. As always, you can learn more at the links in the description below, and we'll see you in a bit.